This was the scene last fall when the Lafayette Leopards claimed their first Patriot League championship since completing a three-peat in 2006. Now the journey back to the top is set to begin again. Hi everyone, I'm Ray Crawford and joining us from Patriot League Football Media Day is the longtime coach at Lafayette, Coach Frank Tavani. And Coach, first for those who don't know, you had a health scare at the end of April that resulted in a procedure to your heart. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, thank you. It was uh, certainly, uh, you know, a very trying time. I had a lot of support, people around me, but, uh, you know, I uh, you listen to your body and you go seek some medical attention and uh, fortunately I did and... Uh, I've got a new lease on life uh, with uh, three stents in my right coronary artery, but uh, that was the end of April. I'm walk jogging five miles a day. I've lost some weight. I'm feeling great. So uh, the new motto is leaner and meaner. Well, we're all eager to see you back in the sidelines again this year. So let's talk football now, shall we? Teddy Bridgewater, Johnny Manziel, Jameis Winston, all as you know, great college quarterbacks last year, but none of them had a better completion percentage than Drew Reed. What do you know about him now that you didn't 12 months ago? Well, I'll tell you, you know, uh, we knew he was very talented. We went down to see him play in person. And, and really at first uh, meeting, uh, you know, uh, you know, kind of a, you know, almost seemed to appear to be a shy, quiet young man, but very talented. We've seen enough film on him to know. Uh, and, and very strong competitor, competes very strong. But I think the uh, biggest attribute he has and you need as a quarterback, he is as cool and calm, as collected as uh, anyone I've been around. If Ross Sherman turns in a season like he did last year, he'll, he'll finish as the third leading rusher in the 131 years of Lafayette football. He's also been a productive receiver for you as well. How much of the team's success this year will depend on another big year from him? Well, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, he has just had a, a great career. And, 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 and the best thing about it is how much he's improved year to year and just gotten better. And I'm looking for the same this year. He's become the complete back. Uh, he does a tremendous job with our pass protection package, which is first and foremost for our backs. It's not just about running the ball. Our complex pass protection package has to be handled by that position you could really if you wanted to selfishly just leave him on the field for everything uh he's just that kind of player so obviously staying healthy uh for him and, and everyone is a key component to the success of the year coach no two teams have played more games against one another than lafayette and lehigh the 150th meeting will happen at yankee stadium in november the game is already sold out there's a website rivalry 150.com there's hashtag rivalry 150 on social media what will it mean to you and your players to be part of such a landmark game well i think you know uh, just knowing that this is an historic event this is one of the most um biggest major event in the history of Lafayette College. I've had a number of uh, alumni, older alumni, tell me that as well as uh, people associated with the college. And uh, it's certainly of, of national attention, national recognition. So it's certainly exciting and a huge day for alumni at both places. Certainly a lot of games between now and then, but something to look forward to in November. Coach, thanks for taking time with us and best of luck this season. Thank you very much and thanks for having me. Our visit with head coaches from the Patriot League continues as Fordham's Joe Moorhead visits with our Shea Pepler. You can see the video on CampusInsiders.com.